Uh, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, Brian Swiftcloud. I'm from here in Illegal, South Dakota. We're on the banks of the Grand River here, the south of Little Eagle. I grew up here six years of my life. I was um, instilled by singing, instilled of singing through my grandfather, John Iron. Uh, many people, individuals I know, said that uh, I had um, taken the place of an individual who used to sing, make composed songs for uh, individuals who like came back from war or an like, honor song or any kind of song that he was asked of to do, compose, he would um, do that. And uh, his name was Isaac Hookyhorn. Over the years, I had an uncle who married Joseph Kleinby, the late Joseph Kleinby, who, um, who was a singer and he would speak uh, Lakota and uh, he would sing a song in honor of someone who was being honored or who they were about to have a memorial for. He would talk about in that individual and his family. And so how it came about being a singer, my mother, who was uh, uh, the main one that who really influenced me, encouraged me to uh, sing because I had family members who danced at gatherings like Wachipi or Oshkate, meaning celebration or a place of social dance. And so uh, back in uh, December, of 2019, uh, Virgil Taking the Life told me that the group, the murdered and missing indigenous women organization didn't have a song and encouraged me to make a song for them. And it hasn't gotten out there yet. And um, I feel I'm really honored to be able to be a, the one to compose a song for that group. And uh, the words are very um, fitting to the occasion of how I knew a lady back in the 80s who was missing and was uh, murdered just across the uh, river from here, the Missouri River, Mobridge. I. Um, I, I went to school with her, and uh, I remember that. And then, just recently, last year, um, a lady by the name of Anita Menewoon, who um, told me that Jackie White Cloud, who was also missing, and they had a ceremony, and that ceremony, the individual who, um, conducted the ceremony, he, um, he said that she wasn't alive, but couldn't locate her body. And um, so I know individuals like that who were missing and murdered indigenous women. The song in Lakota says, Every day, we sit at home with sad hearts. Women, our women are no longer here with us, so it is very sad and difficult. A lot of people are out there with no closure to their missing of daughters, mothers, grandmothers, bodies are not found yet. Some maybe are found. And so um, I compose a song in the thoughts of some family members are saying this as they live their, out their lives without their sister, their mother, their aunt, their grandmother, and a relative. 
And um, I would like to sing that song. I hope you're, you can pick up, I uh, will sing it twice through. I'm working on a, a tune to go with it. And uh, hopefully sometime in the future, I will be able to have an individual in mind, uh, John Eagle, my nephew, lives in 48. He's a, he's a good singer and he wants to learn the songs that I compose. And uh, I guess because of the pandemic, uh, a lot of us haven't been able to, uh, we're far behind a lot of things. And, uh, we're starting to pick, that, pick up again, it's starting to come back, the pandemic. Is, the virus is uh, very strong and people are getting sick again, so a lot of the gatherings are being canceled and hopefully um, in the future this song can be sung for the missing and mur murdered indigenous women. And when I sing this song, I'm sure that individuals out there who are in kind of composing songs um, we'll get the words and uh, come up with a tune and uh, I want to work with them individuals and they can call me get a hold of me and uh, I will sing that song now <clears throat> gathering yesterday on Sunday the 15th in um, Rock Creek, South Dakota, Bullet, South Dakota, uh, uh, the veterans group were red and, re wearing some red shirts with the uh, handprint in the back and had uh, MMIW in the back and I'm uh, sure what in one of them uh, shirts and I was ready to sing that song to get the message out there. It's been a long time this has all been going on and um, I think more should be done for the families and the individuals who are murdered and missing. Thank you. <laughs> 